In today's video, I'm going to take a look at Lifter LMS, which lets you set up and sell, if you want to, online courses for your students using WordPress. My good friend, Chris Badgett, who runs Lifter LMS, asked me to take it for a spin. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to look at a few things. Number one is how easy is it to use? So I know I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to try and get it set up and running without reading the instructions. So don't do this. But I think it's a really good test of a plugin to see how easy it is for you to use if I try and get it up and running without actually reading the instructions. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to test out how friendly it is for using the block editor because I love the block editor. And if you follow this channel, you probably do too. So I'm going to see whether it comes with its own blocks, which I think it does from reading about it. And also I think it comes with its own theme, which I'm going to take a look at. And then finally, I'm going to look at some of the reviews and also some of the support documentation just to see how good it is and how useful it is going to be for you. So let's dive in. Right, let's start by adding the plugin. So you can see it's got 356 reviews, currently at a five-star average, 10,000 active installs. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna set up a paid site so people have to pay for my courses, although I might do a few free ones as teasers. Let's see how that functionality works because that's a great way of getting people into your courses to offer some free stuff. Oh, this is cool. So it looks like it's got this really, uh, it's got a wizard to get me up and running. I like wizards. I'm gonna go get started now. Let's not read the words. <laughs> okay, so, okay, cool. So this is gonna set up some of my pages. So these are a bit like WooCommerce does. It's gonna set up these main pages that I need to run my learning management system. And I imagine when I create, when I click save and continue, it's gonna do all that in the background. So hopefully when we go back into the dashboard, we'll have all those sort of main pages we need already configured and set up, which is cool. Now I'm assuming I'm gonna have a paid LMS. So people are gonna pay for my courses. I'm gonna charge in dollars, but you can obviously charge in other currencies as well. And let's go save and continue. My understanding is that the free version of Lifter LMS, which is what I've got here at the moment, lets you sell free courses or offer free courses. But if you want to have paid courses, that's when you have to buy a, a like an add-on to the free plugin, which, you know, makes sense. So I'm just going to go start from scratch. Let's click that. So I just want to basically, what I want to, oh, this is cool. What I want to try and do, this looks interesting, is set up a course and have some lessons within that course and then look at some of the blocks that come with it to see how configurable it is and then have a look at some of the designy stuff as well. But so we're going to get the main functionality, hopefully, fingers crossed, up and running quickly. So this is interesting. So it's actually launched me straight into building a course, it looks like. Let's have a look at the list view. Hey, cool. So we've got some blocks immediately, the LMS, Lifter LMS blocks, which they give me straight out the bat. And I'm imagining they some of these are dynamic. They pull information in as we start to build out content, which is cool. So what kind of course should we do today? Well, I'm going to say how to make a tiramisu which has to be one of the best puddings in the world. Let's go set featured image. Now I'm going to upload one because I have already made one of these. Let's just upload my tiramisu image. And if you agree with me that tiramisu is in the top three puddings in the world, drop it a like, drop a like in the video and also put a comment in if you don't agree. And this is your short description, course information. Let's click on that. Okay, so this is a special block it looks like. We've got some information over here. Okay, so estimated completion time, that's cool. So let's go one hour. If I could spell out, there we go, that's cool. It's brought me in as the course instructor automatically. But again, I could configure this, because this is blocks, I can basically, if I don't want some of this information, I can just delete it, which is pretty whizzy. So I think the way this works is you create the main course page and then you have lessons within that course page. So I think if I just publish this quickly, and then you'll see up here, I'm imagining if I click on that, I should be able to create a lessons within the course. I think that's right. So over here, we've got basically my title and then we've got our sections. It's given me three basically lessons within this course. And I suspect, rock and roll, that I can jump in here and actually start to create these lessons. So this is where you put your video link. And I'm just copying a Gordon Ramsay one today. What's this, assignment? Okay, cool. So you can give them basically assignments after they've watched the video, it looks like. And you can also give them a quiz. I'm a big fan of quizzes. So let's have a quick look at, look at the quiz builder. Okay, so this is where you'd put your description of your quiz. Oh, you can time limit it, that's fun. Okay, let's do that. Limit the number of attempts. And I suspect there's reporting built into that. So we're gonna have a look at the sort of backend reporting once I've actually created a couple of lessons. Let's go add question. Okay, cool. So we've got basic questions and I suspect these advanced ones are probably the pro version ones, but I just want a multiple choice. Let's go, my questions are um, where to buy ingredients which is a terrible question but you get the idea and then you can have multiple choice down here a shop and then let's go online agreed they're terrible questions they're terrible <laughs> answers let's go save save changes and that's my lesson done and then i can do another lesson actually i should have given this lesson a title okay let's save that so each lesson has a title and then this one here i'll call making the tier tier 
Misu, is that right? That's right, <laughs> okay. And again, this is my video. I'm not gonna have a quiz on this one. I've got my two lessons. Let's save that changes. Oh, cool, look at that. Hey, that is cool. So we've got, basically we've got our how to build, make a tiramisu. Let's have a look at that actually on the front end here. Yeah, cool. Okay, so we've got, we've basically got the title of the course, the main course, then we've got the course information, course instructor. I didn't put any information under course information. And then we've got our two new sections down here. And if I click in that, brilliant. Okay, and there's my, there's my first getting supplies course. And uh, there's my quiz, I can take a quiz. Um, I could start my quiz, shall we have a look at that? And along the top here, we've actually got our course catalog. So that should, there we go. There's my, that was one of the pages that it automatically generated for me. Now clearly the design's not brilliant at the moment. This is a fresh WordPress website. So I, would, I just wanna get the functionality up and running to start with. And actually that's pretty cool. Can you see how it's actually given me this progress indicator underneath my course here? Because I'm viewing this as a, a user at the moment. And actually that's the one that I've taken and you can see it's actually told me I've taken it as well. Okay, so I've created another two courses. You can see them here. It obviously looks pretty terrible at the moment. That's not the plugin's fault, that's my site. So I'm just gonna do a few very simple edits to my site just to make it look a bit nicer. I'm gonna be really quick here, so I'm not spending a lot of time on this. Let's just go to styles. I'm just gonna choose this one here to make it sort of dark. And let's also sort out my navigation. Looking pretty good, course catalog. Looks pretty good. I could do it better though, let's make it nicer. So I'm actually gonna create a new homepage and see if I can start to use some of these blocks to actually make this a bit nicer. So let's call it home and let's see what blocks actually come with Lifter LMS. Here we go, Lifter LMS block. So what have we got? We've got access plan button. So uh, we've got checkout courses. I think I want courses, but these are looking pretty good. Let's click into one of these, how to make a roast dinner. And it already looks pretty pro. It looks pretty pro. I can see down here, I haven't done these courses. This is one actually set up as a free course when I just set it up. And there we go, there's my video and my instructions. And once you've done it, you can either set your users a quiz or they can mark it as complete. This is cool actually. So it says you completed a lesson. And then we go back to course catalog, you'll see now it shows my progress. And that's all out of the box, I haven't had to do anything about that. So it's, it's pretty whizzy stuff. The other thing I want to show you or have a look at is some of the reporting because I think reporting's incredibly important for an LMS, especially when you're trying to manage lots of people. And if we jump into a course, cool. Okay, I wasn't sure whether this detail was gonna be here, but it is. So we can currently see how many currently enrolled students they are, their progress, how many orders it's got. So you've got full on course reporting, actually. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, with a few simple cosmetic changes, it's starting to look like a pro site where people actually might sign up and take my cooking lessons. I've uploaded a logo and I've sorted out my navigation. And I think this looks beautiful. I love these little progress bars. I think they're fantastic. They give a real in visual indication of where people are in their lessons. I can click into this and that's my actual lesson itself for the course. And within the course, I have my lessons. You can see I've set this one as free. So I love that because you can give people kind of teasers of the quality of the content you want. If you want to take things to the next level, then Lifter LMS have actually built their own block theme, which is called Sky Pilot. Now, one of the coolest features about the theme they've built is they've added all these templates that you can actually edit. For example, you can edit the single course template over here. This is the template that's driving all your course layouts. And here you go, this has been blockified. So you can actually come in here and completely customize the design of your single course pages, of all your single course pages, because templates are global. And they've built a whole bunch of these templates to give you really granular control over your site. So here's my website. I think it looks really great for about half an hour's work. Didn't take me long at all. And again, I didn't read the instructions. Now I'm only scratching the surface of what's possible with Lifter LMS. It's incredibly robust and extensive. So I'm literally just setting up courses to sell online. And the bit that's missing from my site at the moment is the ability to actually sell them because I don't have a payment gateway. I'm not gonna do that today, but you can just come across here and go to Lifter LMS payment gateways. And these are your choices. I guess the two most common ones, probably the three most common ones are probably gonna be Lift to LMS Stripe, PayPal, and also it's got WooCommerce integration, which is really cool. And these do actually come with a price, but again, we're talking about $150 a year. And if you're gonna be, if you're serious about selling online courses, that's a, that's a small amount of money to pay. And once you've set up the online payment gateway, this is what it looks like for your end users. Pretty standard stuff, but it looks really elegant. They just click join and it takes them through to actually make the purchase. There's a very quick whistle-stop tour of uh, Lifter LMS, 
My first experiences are it's very friendly to use. I got it up and running in no time at all without reading the instructions, but do read the instructions because they have tons of support documentation. Chris is probably the most prolific support in t- uh, guy I know in terms of creating content. So there's tons and tons of great tutorials out there for Lift It LMS. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you found it useful. And I hope it helps you set up online courses and sell and make money through WordPress. If you did enjoy it, if you can hit the like button down below now, it'd be fantastic because it does make a huge, huge difference in terms of how many people actually get to see this video. It really does. So thank you if you can hit that like button. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.